Art and architecture are constantly changing and more now than ever before. So I don't think there can be one design philosophy at large for across all projects because really every project is very, very different depending upon a large number of factors. But what you try to do is keep it contextual, keep it crisp, resolve designs in an interesting way where people experience something new every time. So I spend every morning in my cabin alone only designing and all my designing is done in the form of sketches because I don't think there is any software that is as fast or as quick as translating what you're thinking in your head simultaneously onto paper as a simple sketch. Good design affects people positively and it's everything is to do about the quality of space, the quality of light, the quality of ventilation. Getting in natural light is actually beneficial to the way you think and the way you feel. A huge amount of inspiration came from seeing something organic. There's this village in Montenegro called the Sveti Stefan. It really does something to you. And it kind of inspires you to design something in a very organic, interesting way. I think the whole world is moving to art that makes you experience something more than simply just looking at it in the distance or on a wall. Immersive art, for example, by this artist called Rafi Gardenol, who's doing uh, some really amazing stuff. It's so dramatically different to experience. When you get an architect or a real good product designer to design your product, it just adds that much more in terms of creativity. That's the only way you can get something that is totally new, different to experience, and at the same time functional in the way it should be.